from the Music Sensors and Emotion Research Group as part of the Sonic Art Research Centre in Queen's University, Belfast. And what we're doing is looking at uh, music and emotion. And we're doing an experiment here in the Science Gallery where we record people's biosignals, so physiological signals from their body, in this case the heart and something called galvanic skin response, which is the conductance across the palm of your hand. And these signals are related to your emotional state. So what we do is, when somebody comes in, they put the sensors onto their fingers, uh, they put on the headphones, and they're played four short pieces of music, about one minute thirty for each section. And we've chosen bits of music from the last 50 years or so. There's at least one song for every decade, and they range from things like Bing Crosby to Nirvana to Slayer. Uh, we've got jazz in there. We've got some classical pieces in as well. There's a Mozart uh, piece as well. So some music people have heard before, but there's almost certainly something that will be unfamiliar to each person. And we record all these signals from them as they listen to this music and uh, look back at it later on. And we also ask them to rate, on, according to several psychological scales, how mu much they enjoyed the music, how pleasurable they found it. And we later analyse their biological signals with the answers they go gave to the questions uh, to see if we can find correlations between the two. And one of the really unique opportunities about doing something like this in the Science Gallery is that Normally these kind of experiments are done with maybe 20, 30 people and you're, you're rounding up people off the street and in this case we've got people who are really excited about taking part in the experiment, want to get hands on with it and we're going to have thousands of people doing this which will create the largest database of its kind.